I'm Detlef and uh, today we try to update all of you of what we've done in the past few months and where we stand with the project. And this is Anton. I'm Anton, Alpha Delta Tango Bravo Mike, as most people know me from Forum 64. Yeah, and like Detlef already said, we're going to give you a little update on our project. Um, at the moment, we're in revision four of the case. Our manufacturer is at the moment on working on revision five. We have a lot of improvements during the time, but at the same time, we still can say that we stay the precious to, uh, to the original Commodore 65. So as you can see, dimension, look, and so on is still exactly the same as before. We are in a step where we can say, yes, we do have the same level of quality that we uh, wanted to achieve. So we have a sturdy case and um, the case looks absolutely amazing. Also from the inside, we already mentioned it. We added a lot of screw bosses for possible future expansions, for an example, mounting loudspeakers and so on. So from our point, the um, case is almost done and hopefully soon ready for mass production, even if this still takes a bit. We recently received from our partner, Trends, the latest Revision 3 mainboard that you can see over here. Um, we stood 100% compatible with the R2 mainboard. What we actually did, we did a lot of bug fixes that were the most important things because with our R2 we still had to solve a little bit ourselves. Biggest difference to the R2 mainboard is the new FPGA. We now have an Artex A7 200T uh, FPGA on board of it. Also, we have two speaker outputs for left and right speakers, so you're able to mount internal speakers. Uh, we were absolutely amazed that we noticed throughout the last couple of weeks, months already, the interest in the community raised quite a lot. So uh, not even our team itself did some tech demos. I think Deft is actually um, loading something at the moment. Uh, also from the community, fans of the project started to develop on the Mega 65 in basic 10, they actually investigated into the Commodore 65 kernel ROM and so on. So um, I just give over to Deft. What yeah, that's see? just a little basic demo from Stefan Kleinert. And uh, it's like one screen of basic commands. And what it does, it shows some nice fractals. So uh, yeah, obviously it takes even with 40 megahertz a while to draw everything, but it's a really nice demo on uh, what you can do. So let me show you another thing, which is like an engine demo for 3D games like Wolfenstein. Um, it's called Mega Maze. And uh, yeah, you, as you can see, it uses uh, DMA copy to quickly draw this 3D world. And um, this is also something we uh, have um, made open source so developers can start making, for example, adventure games or shooters right away. This is an example, is a tech demo uh, coded by one of our team members, Paul. And like I said, he made it first as a proof of concept. And while he was coding on it, he actually went ahead and implemented more and more features. So it is almost all, uh, a fully working game. Where in Exabat, like Deft already said, I think um, Paul is using the DMA features to swap the memory quite fast. Maybe you can tell a little bit more about it. Yeah, the DMA is uh, like uh, a small blitter from the Amiga. So you can uh, quickly access memory. It's direct memory access. You can quickly copy stuff from and to memory. And um, so things are possible that are normally not with, a, with an 8-bit machine that lacks that uh, kind of functionality. And with all the features, um, I hand over to Deft again. 
Yes, sir, we're currently looking at a demo from the original C65, which just shows some IFF images from the Amiga. And as you can see, this is the actually, actual C65 speed. And um, as you know, the Mega 65 is able to uh, run at least f uh, 10 times faster, to be exact, at 40 megahertz. And um, I can trigger this speed up at any time by holding the caps lock key. So you will see if I press it like this, um, the, there's a weight here, but it just is so much faster. And um, I have speed up the loading a little bit now. And we're going to see some um, graphics being drawn in BASIC. And uh, yeah, you will Im immediately see that uh, while the C65 was very capable at drawing, uh, doing nice graphics, it also was really slow with the 3.5 megahertz uh, and using bit planes. And I think we could uh, dramatically increase the functionality by giving it just a lot more speed. One of our main goals, of course, was and still is to keep as compatible to the original Commodore 65 as possible. The problem really is that when we started investigating what software did actually came out for the Commodore 65, we even spotted that even within this small demo that you see over here, there were huge differences. They were adopted for several different kernel versions. So the demo was running on one Commodore 65, but not on the other one. An example, say, supported directly, where I personally was amazed of, that they implemented a RAM expansion part in this demo, but most people don't even have a RAM expansion card for the Commodore 65. But our goal was to stay as compatible to the original as possible. So this was one of our starting points. And what we present over here is the original Commodore 65 demo. This demo should work as it is on the original machine as well. Yes, it does. It's the original um, basic demo. And um, yeah, you can see there are nice, this, this is all done in basic. So there are nice drawing features, like, yeah, <laughs> like uh, I wanted to show this afterwards, but never mind. Yeah, it's just, it can do a lot of stuff, like um, draw and fill stuff. It has special font options, as you can see. And, um, but everything is unfortunately quite slow, because with 3.5 megahertz and the bit planes like the Amiga got them, uh, it is just too slow to do a lot. And um, yeah, let's just look at this, how it's progressing quite slowly. And I will afterwards show you what it's like to, to see all this in 40 megahertz. You will immediately see the difference. Um, this demo was actually coded by Fred Bone, and it's, it's a nice uh, demo for the basic capabilities. But I think it also shows where the problems lie. But it was quite amazing already. This whole demo was programmed in BASIC 10 and it actually shows how powerful BASIC 10 actually is. So that's why, of course, our Mega 65 also fully supports this. Um, we love to program on this machine and like I said, it's a lot of fun. We also learn all every day something new with this machine. It's quite nice. For me, as a fan of the original Commodore 64, it is really something new to um, find out almost every day when we started looking into the demo that was quite amazing. Um, let me just show you the same demo at our full speed of uh, 40 megahertz. I switch into Mega 65 mode and let's just start where the, this stuff is. So, I think it's quite easy to see the difference of the drawing speed between the original speed and the Mega 65 speed. I mean, the pauses are the same, of course, but yes, yeah, you can see here, it draws really quickly. So with 40 megahertz, the uh, basic 10 drawing functions really get or become usable. So this one. I think every Commodore 65 owner knows how in a slow this demo runs on the original machine, even if it's quite fast for a basic program. And like I said, this is our main goal. 
And I think this part I've never seen on any other demo or so on, on, uh, in the web or so. This part nobody ever seen. Then the DMA part in the end crashes, but we have not find, found out which DMA version it uh, belongs to. So, <laughs> But we are already in a state where we really can say this demo is running reliable on all machines and we are able to run it further than any other Commodore 65 user has been able so far to show it. But this is, was just a demo part, what we do apart from the nominal thing. Let's uh, look at some more software from C64 mode. Um, this is on one hand the mod play, which also uses DMA audio. So we can do four channel 16-bit uh, audio now, like f uh, on the Amiga. Of course, this can be mixed with the SIDS and uh, yeah, let's just listen to it. So this is an Amiga mod playing on the Mega 65. Uh, started from C64 mode, but in AT char mode and using DMA audio. Like the original C65, also our Mega 65, has not only two, but four SIDs built in that we actually could use at any time for programming and so on. So even the sound capabilities, like we said, we stay compatible to the Commodore 65, but still we enhance and go always a little bit more. We try to achieve the highest possible quality that we can get actually for our project. So maybe let's look at some more C64 software and start a game. Many people actually asking, oh, how's about with the C64 uh, compatibility? And I think we can say at this time that we already have a lot of software that runs on the Mega 65 just out of the box. Here is a very nice example. This is a Petski graphic game that was completely coded in uh, with Petski char set. And as you can see, it's fully working, normal speed. So even for the Commodore 64 fans, most software is running and we already achieved a higher compatibility towards the Commodore 64 than the Commodore 65 had. So maybe let's run another one. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of fun games. I think total number of games for the C64 is like um, 20,000 or something. Something <laughs> like this, so many things. Everybody got his personal memories on this. And has his favorite games and so on. Another nice game. So not only do you have a machine that is able to run your Commodore 64 games, you also have a machine that gives you the possibility and the same feeling. I think this is what me personally brought to the project as well, that it is so much fun that I have the same feeling again that I had in the 80s, that I can start experiment with the machine to see what is possible. What is possible. And I think this is what actually brings the community towards the Mega 65 project as well. Because they see they are not only have their beloved bread bin, but they also can start investigating into new things. Many titles, like we said, out of the box, so uh, sky is the limit. <laughs> Okay, one second.
bring it like on. Like I said, I've just seen this <laughs> update in the forum and I thought so. I have, like I said, I've never tested it. So you have to probably do like, what did they say, F5 for number of players? Yeah. There is two? Yeah. And, and what F is F1 was it, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> I'm the Charles Master. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's different, but okay, it works. Physics are a little bit different, but. Get the egg. Ah. Get the egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I had it a lot easier in memory. You killed Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. I think that's the. Uh, of the uh, so it works very well, I think. Like perfect. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would physics, say it was fine. Physics are really strange. Yeah, like I said, they <laughs> discovered this version. Oh, that was close. Just recently. But I think it was never officially released okay. for the Commodore. Oh. Who owns the rights? I really can't tell you. So, like I said, it popped Atari. up in Forum 64. I think it was Atari, exactly. Come on, give it to me. Who? Oh. Ah! Mm. Uh, go away! <laughs> go away! No, no! <laughs> okay, but like I said, I've never tested it as also. It's wonderful. Gotta show you. Yeah. And oh, I think that was my last. Oh. I think it's dorks, no? Uh, 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 yes, be, yes, uh, right. Exactly. You, you died? Yeah, yeah I'm dead. Uh -huh. You won. Oh! <laughs> I'm still in. I love this game on the Atari. Yeah. Yeah, it's and to be honest, I love it that even after so many I years, know. they still <laughs> find stuff. <laughs> oh, where, where's my respawn time? Yeah. No stuff like this in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I'm somewhere in the border. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, that's it. Okay. This was too I, late. I just are you sure I won? I'm not so sure. They, ah, but I'm still in. The yeah. scores are quite close. Let's have a look. Don't stop yep, the game. That's you. I'm still in. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you make points. <laughs> He's kind of stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, come here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. No, it's a very good game. I like it. The game is over. With a little practice? Yeah, it's not too bad. No?